Swamiji pranams. Now, we know that the world started with a big bang. And this is also our philosophical thought only, Tejas. So the whole world is energy. And later on, subsequently, we also know that matter was born and different kinds of matter. And it has also been proved that matter can be converted into energy. The reverse phenomena is also possible and experimentally proved. So we know that matter to energy, energy to matter. So this is basic philosophy, whether it is a philosophical one or as a scientific one, both are equally valid and acceptable in today's context. We have come a long way in today's context. Now, you have been propounding about a theory which you have named as I-theory. Now, before I go into details about I-theory, I would like you to tell how you choose the word I for the theory. All knowledge, all experience, always based on I. As an individual, their existence, they are expressing through the word I. I am so and so. First starting I, the first person, the first entity, first basic unit. I theorem based on which is the fundamental unit, the finest particle of the universe that called I particle. I always first person because from that only enter universe going to manifest. If you want to make the universe only because of I particle. Without I, here is no universe. Here is no individual, here is no universe. That's why the reason this particle called I particle. Without this particle, here is no universal existence. That called I. That called I particle. When in a Roman, in a English language, I in a capital act letter is writing it one. Just numer numerical way, that is one. That is. That is the first. In English language, when you are using, that is one. I is the first. Wherever, whenever we are searching, we are knowing anything, basic unit is I, I, I. That's why the reason this particle called I particle. This is the finest fundamental unit of the universe. That particle called I particle. Now from subatomic particles, you are going to the next step of, you have said black matter. And you have also said that it is, in other words, the mind. Now from dark matter, you are going to the red matter, which you have mentioned it as thought. And then you go to the white matter, which you mentioned it as ego. Now this, up to subatomic particles, it will be accepted without any reservations. Now when you go to building up the next stage of dark matter and red and then the white matter, then 
we will go further into energy, but before that, this step of black, red and white. I would like you to explain why this has been called by different colors in our sense. And then you have also mentioned about three different aspects, mind, thought and ego. Now how do you synchronize these together? Atom and subatomic particle closely absorbing and analyzing. Each and every subatomic particle means millions of millions of vibrations. Without vibration, there is no subatomic particle. Is it a positive charged particle or negative charged particle? That particle, like a proton or electron or any anti particle, all the particle, when you are going to analyze each and every subatomic particle. existing because of vibration. Each and every subatomic particles quality are its nature. Deciding factor is how much vibration all to be with inside. With how much vibration is carrying each and every vibration which way arranged, charge distribution which way arranged, that way the quality is going to change. I particle focusing, basic unit of this subatomic particle means vibration. Now our knowledge or the calculations based on light speed. On second, three lakhs kilometer. This way we are assessing atom function, subatomic function, all the functions we are calculating with this parameter. That is. means when we can able to cross this light stream if light want to move some spaces some vibration some media is necessary actually that media also if proton want to move the proton vibrating and existing as proton that vibration that speed now we are calculating in the base of light speed now all the knowledge relative knowledge that knowledge Present calculation based on light speed calculation. Yes. When we want to know about I theorem in fundamentally scientifically, this knowledge is very important. When you can exceed light speed, there is another speed also. That speed higher than 100 times higher than light speed means 3 lakh rise to 100. 
you can calculate that. That media, that speed, light using that media, then only light can travel per second 3 lakhs kilometer. That is. That speed, that basic energy vibration be behind light. That is. Usually this P is always applying. We can we can as a subjective plane we can able to direct feeling. We can we can feel also. When our pranic energy is traveling this speed. As a human being, their pranic energy, the pranic energy flow just like this speed. 3 lakh rise to 100. That speed. This also vibration. This speed also vibration. Please. Light speed also vibration. Light based speed also vibration. This speed in usually in ancient time this called air. Not a this air. Not mean that is. It's a air energy behind this air energy is there. Behind light, there is air energy is there. Vibration is there. That vibration is, this is the vibration. This is a ratio. Behind that, that's why, then only we can go through the I theorem properly. Behind this speed, 3 lakh rise to 1000. That is a second speed. That speed is using for this air vibration. That is. These two speeds, vibrations, when we can able to establish, then only we can scientifically, we can prove this I particle in a scientific manner. Through equipment, if you want to demonstrate this speed we want to achieve. Means when we want to prove I particle, it is scientifically true. That time we must develop this equipment. Or which equipment can able to see 3 lakh rise to 1000 speed per second if you can able to cross if you can able to visualize then only we can able to see the eye particle the eye particle is a vibration when any vibration vibrating there is there is a speed is there that we usually, usually we call velocity. That called velocity. When beginning velocity, middle velocity, and ending velocity, that is a speed, the velocity is changing. In a single eye, there is a three type of velocity we can see. Actually, that is a kind of each and every eye containing three type of velocities that's why the reason within one eye particle there is black particle and red and white the same thing this is a single eye single vibration but the quality is changing because accelerations is change that is due to that the reason the speed is increasing 
connected with the um, um, black matter, the speed is changing. Why? Red matter. The same white matter. That going to change. That way the reason one I particle carrying three matters. This I is a matter. This vibration is matter. This energy is matter. No doubt. It's a containing three qualities. The card black matter, red matter, and white matter. When energy formed, that's a as before Big Bang, here is only one eye. That is called universal eye. That is from that only all the eyes the that's only one eye that's carrying this black, red, and white. All the chemical changes is going on. That chemistry called the mind we use. The chemical. Each and every vibration is a friction is going on. Means chemical reaction. That called black matter. Any chemical reaction, there is some max is there, there is some data is there, arrangement is there. That data called number of that called red matter. Red matter is the intellect, is a deciding factor, tuning factor. This is. white matter, the same energy they have. There's three forms only, three, black, red and white. Each and every eye have its own awareness, carrying awareness. Awareing particle, part called white. That is, I am aware. What are the things I am aware? That things called red matter. Through the aware, what are the things going to happen? That is chemical reactions. That is black matter. That's going on. It is a basic. On I carry three. Matters also. Nobody can separate this matter and vibration. This this totality called energy. Matter and vibration. This single unit called vibration. This is the basic universal vibration. That called Swamiji, now I got uh, my reservations on what you said. The speed of light is constant. It was so till very recently when a subatomic particle called neutrino was experimentally seen to have a velocity greater than that of light. It's a very recent one, but still the veracity of that is being checked out. Otherwise, the speed of light is constant and it is something like uh, 3 lakh meters per second. Now, I will put, put your words in a different perspective. You have got the white light. The speed of white light is 3 lakh meters per second. Now, this white light is composed of red light. So that 
red light. The speed is the same as the white light. But only thing is, as you have put it in a different perspective, the frequency, the frequency of that red light, that is the vibration, because all these, whatever light we are seeing, as you said rightly, light is also vibration. And this red light, which forms part of the white light, is with a frequency which is lower than the frequency of the other colors. Because if you uh, look at uh, the white light, white light is composed of seven colors. Whatever violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. It consists of all the colors of the rainbow. But all of them travel with the same speed of light. We have not been able to prove otherwise. Only thing is, as you said, it is the frequency of the vibration which changes. So the red light is goes with a lesser frequency. Somewhere along the line I said violet. We start with violet. Violet is with a higher frequency. Higher frequency means it has got more energy. Red means lesser frequency, it has got less energy. So, if you want to uh, convey the idea of dark, red and white. White is completely all the colors are there. Red means that we have got a lesser frequency which is going with a lesser energy. And dark is something which is the absence of light itself. There is nothing like a dark moving at a certain frequency. So there I cannot put a comparison. I can only put a comparison for white light as well as red light in that you what, what your ITRM contains. Now leaving aside that because you have also mentioned that dark is mind and thought is red and white light is the ego. As we understand in the normal way of thinking, we have got our mind and we have got the thought processes and then we have got also an ego. Are we concerned with that when we say the white light, red light and the dark? Is it uh, something to do with that? Because normal human emotions, mind, thought processes and our ego. Is it something to do with that which you want to bring it into this ITRM? Because ITRM, as you very rightly said, it is concerning one's own individual self. So I got my ego. I got my thought process. Are we trying to bring in that into this picture of ITNM? Or is it something which you have in mind when you say ego, mind and thought? Is there anything, something else which you have got in mind? Actually this word commonly familiar with all of them mind, ego, mind, interactant ego actually these three entities we can't separate as an atom there is a deciding inner code is there that code called intellect When that inner, inner, inner core going to react, that reaction, changing process is going on. That chemical reaction is going to start. And the universe is a chemistry. Universe, universe is a whole 
chemical lab. Each and every moment, the chemistry is a, the process is going on. That changing chemistry called mind. That's only really dark matter. He said, why this dark matter? He said, this always going on, the chemistry is going on. Changing process is going on. One to another. Even if it is the least, least height, heat going to apply, chemistry going to change. The, you can see the chemistry, what it is going on. Each and every particle of the universe is going on. Then, these both energy vibrations, process. there is behind or these all the awareness always based on on transparent energy planes actually that transparent energy plane called white matter that called the ego it is not only focusing the individual I say ordinary human individual, not really, but also the entire universe basic unit. When you consider it, is an atom or a proton or an antiparticle, when you can be able to accept I particle. It is nobody can separate. Nobody can separate. When the universe manifested the manifesting time, what vibration already developed, that vibration always carrying these two entities. One is matter, another is vibration. Third aspect, now science can't deny, is called consciousness. That is not at all vibrating. With that only we can explain all these things. That science trying to achieve. How we can be able to achieve that? That when we want to know about I particle in perfect manner. In moving energy plane. And moving energy plane. Vibrating energy plane. And unshakable energy plane. It is not at all vibrating. That is, now we are, this I particle starting from, we are introducing this vibrating plane. This vibration, this I particle close, it is connecting, this is the only basic unit can able to connect externally and internally means in conscious plane and external this worldly plane also this is only the connecting particle that's why the reason this atom not at all a fundamental particle proton or a subatomic particle not at all a fundamental particle antiparticle also there's a when we want to reach, when we want to aware about fundamental particle of energy, that is very important. Energy means matter and vibration. That basic unit, that called I, that called I particle. This only one particle can able to connect total consciousness and limited worldly consciousness and an energy plane. This is the only the particle. If you want to reach, we must exceed 3 lakh or rise to 1000. If you can able to develop that such equipment, just like electromagnifying microscope, which way we can see the atoms, which way it is functioning. 
the same way we can. Science can. That is the I, I, I theorem for wording. It is not a mere philosophy. When you can put into practice, tomorrow you can materialize this reality. That is, that is called a particle. Now, coming back to the idea, you know, we come from the atom, we go to the subatomic particles, we pass through all the dark matter, red matter, and white matter. And from the white matter, we signify it is as energy. And then you have coined the width, VIT. And one leg of it is the idea. Now, why did you say that uh, this one leg of width, which is the idea? Because vibrations are in because energy is vibration. That's a fundamental concept which is accepted. Now we go beyond that stage. You have gone to the I theorem in another two steps you have gone. Can you tell me how this one leg, one leg, why did you call it one leg? It, is, it has got two legs. Or why is it called, you call it as one leg is I. When the universe manifests, the manifestation time, the manifested first particle of vibration, that particle called I. That time, what are the qualities, matters, already have, that is never losing. That is multiplying. So one stick become two, two stick give four. That's why it's multiplying. Actually that is, when you are realizing the whole that I always there. Each and every universe, the fundamental particle of I never disappearing. Everywhere. What are the quality changes? Mind changes is going to come. Chemical changes is going to happen. The same time, fundamental I always remaining as I. Number of I's and arrangement of I's, that is only the change. Nothing more than. It's uh, from the individual, that is the I. You are coming to the universal. Individual consciousness then you are telling that it merges with the universal consciousness. Your, the diagram which you have made for right here, finally it merges in a single consciousness, universal as well as individual consciousness merges together, finally together. Now this concept is also true in our philosophy. Because I cannot have a separate existence other than what I am in the universe. So this finally you have merged it uh, together. So that is an excellent uh, way of uh, putting it. Only thing is the number of steps by which you have gone. Because if you take uh, the universal consciousness, I think you are uh, you are originally starting from the basic unit of ecosystem and then going up. And in the middle comes the atom, the molecule, and then the atom, and then the subatomic particles, and then finally merges with the consciousness. And in the case of the individual, you are taking a different steps. You go to gene, you go to proteins. Before that you come to DNA, you come to proteins. And uh, then you come to atoms. 
and then subatomic particles and then you go up to the consciousness. Now normally, as a scientist, what I felt was that the basic unit of everything is the atom or the subatomic particles of which the atom is made of. Atom I say because everybody understands the atom. So you have chosen a different way of uh, picturizing the universal consciousness. Finally they merge together as I said and the individual the picture is a little because the atom comes somewhere only in the middle and not in the very basic foundation. This is what a scientist normally thinks that the basic fundamental particle is the atom or even the subatomic particles which are part of the atom and then you go up one by one, you come to the individual, you come to the universe, you go like that. So why did you choose a different line of thought in bringing the atom somewhere in the middle in this uh, hierarchy? Something which you can kindly explain. Actually, well, all the thoughts, all the awareness starting from where I am. Now we are in the physical plane. We have two entities, external world and internal world. Internal reality and external reality. Internal science and external science. First, I am the person. I am the knower. That, first, that is individual. That is starting. That when you look outside, from the ecosystem to develop, you are going to the energy plane and consciousness level. And then we are thinking inside, the organ, step by step, from the chromosomes, you are reaching the same consciousness stage. This is an external journey, that is an internal journey. Both journey, there is reaching the same, it is just like in a cycle. It is can't separate, external water, internal water, can't separate. That is, it is a circle also, that is the external journey and the internal journey. That is only. In external analysis, when you are analyzing external way, the same dimension, the atom, subatomic, everything, the conscious everything, the internal, the same way. That's way. Anybody going to search anything, the searching starting from where I am now, physically. That basic awareness. We not at all First, then only all the knowledge become clear. Now, journey. Now, we are in this Pergoda center, we are sitting. Then we are traveling outside and the inside. Now, the physically where, the mentally where, that is the individual present existence awareness is very important. That is, that way, we have developed that diagram. The external journey and internal journey. Both journey reaching the same dimension. One is the external world development, another internal world development. That external existence and internal existence. The everything there is, the existence we can't separate. Both are interdependent. We can't separate. That is the oneness, that is just like in a circle. There is, they can't avoid that circle. There is a part and parcel of that. External world and internal world. That's why the diagram mainly. Now you have tried to distinguish between energy in two planes. You have said about positive energy, you have also said about negative energy. Now as I told you that, it is a vibration. Now vibration, if I draw a line, horizontal line, the vibration can go to the upper side, the vibration can go down to the lower side, and again that will come to the upper side, just like a crust and a trough, going up and coming down. 
Now, as in science parlance, we do not distinguish between the one which is on the upper side of a curve and the lower side of a curve. We call it as energy. Now, you have tried to distinguish between two types of energies. The energy which is positive and the energy which is negative. Now, is it possible for us, because finally, what you want is that if we can identify the negative energy, we can try to eliminate it from the individual perception so that it can be taken to a higher plane and the world will become a better living place for everybody to live in. And now the question is whether uh, whether we can conceive of a methodology by which we can say that this is positive energy and this is negative energy in this in a way in which it can be measured or it can be demonstrated. Now you can always see a person talking to you, suppose he brings negative thoughts, you also feel an antipathy towards him. That is figuratively we can say that it is a negative impact which you have got. But is there any way in which we can prove that a person comes into this room, can we measure the energy which he excludes and try to find out whether it is negative or positive. Today we do not have a way except a mental outlook. Mentally I feel that I do not like him. So I can feel that. But is it possible that we can have some sort of a the sense of feeling which I have got now in my mind and registered in the brain, whether we can by some order, some means, we can measure it also by an instrument so that it will be possible for us to avoid such persons or negative energy contacts. So whether it is possible to devise a system which can do that. Because this concept, if it is possible for us to do that, then many of the things which you have propounded can be made into a reality. Actually it is possible, that's only that our RMG is uh, focusing for that. I based the sensors and dictators we want to develop. If you can develop, how it is become negative and positive? That's a very relevant question also. So we already told that I um, uh, particle is a mind particle and intellectual particle also. Mind is a emotional particle or chemical changes particles going. When uh, that chemistry, that energy become negative, it's a destructive way. It is a, not a constructive. So two type of energy process is going on. One is destructive way, the changing the forms and qualities. The same time making another forms and. But this changing and molding, that is comparatively destructive. The change is the po not at the positive um, uh, creation, comparatively less. It is going to happen. That energy called, we call it negative energy. Actually, the, that, that is a different, there's an impact is. Then when we can dictate that, what can, what, how we can able to control and balance. Actually, this I plane, I theory, basically we need, we want a balanced individual universe also. Balanced plane is necessary. How we can able to bring that balance stage? For that, this Dictative sensors is very important. Then only we can have all the products is a medicine or any kind of product. Now we are 
We are users. All are producing. But nobody does you know it is balanced or not. That testing, that, um, that we want to assure. For that, I plain assessment is very important. Without that, this process is going on. That's why the reason a GP and I play on this research, how much it is important. It is a, when we are not taking positively, we can't change. Because if you want to change means balancing product and life is very important. If you want to balance life, how we can assess? First, first man, awareness is very important. Actually, for that, this um, devices is very important. We are put forwarding this concept for the world. Those who can able to cooperate and take this venture, it is not an individual benefit. The whole world knows what are the challenges we are facing. If you want to reduce, this is the only the way balancing energy, balancing way. That's only we can um, reduce that. That's why really this concept open to all. That is. I think uh, I, I will also join with you and say that uh, if the many more join us in trying to find out how to make measurements possible negative and positive energy then we would have achieved at least a one small step up in making this a reality and I think the world will also be very happy that your ITM has produced something which will be very unique for the world and make it a more peaceful existence in the present world. So thank you so much for a very elaborate and nice way of uh, explaining things and that too very patiently. Thank you.